Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to my bathroom, shave den, and into my home. You're always welcome. Um, new product today to try, which I treated myself to. And a question. I get a lot of questions. Uh, so I'm going to answer them in this again. What's this? Why do I wear it? Jewelry. Well, they haven't asked about the ring, but I'm going to say about everything. Right. This bracelet is a multicoloured 10 millimeter quartz crystal glass bracelet. Why did I buy it? Because I bought this on a, an Etsy shop. I've tried to look for the link to this. I don't know. I can't find it to the one I used. But there's loads on there. And it's on Etsy. It's an artisan jewellery maker. She's uh, She was good. And I asked Mrs. H, what would you like? And she picked this. And it came and I loved it. I thought, that's nice. So I wonder, do they do a bigger version? So I contacted her. She says, yes, we do a 10 mil. Now it was a bit bigger than I thought, really. <laughs> but I like it now. Just a bit of colour. And it supports her. She's a jewellery maker. I don't know her, but I like to support uh, anybody like that. So that's the reason for that. And I've just taken this off Mrs. H as you can. She doesn't always wear this though like I do, but she keeps it in and wears it when she feels like it. Um, and this thing is a solid gold, what they call a torque bracelet, T-O-R-Q-U-E. Um, it was a gift and I never wore it for years and years until a friend of mine, Graham, always wore his. And I thought, well, what's the point of mine being in the box? So I put it on and I've worn it ever since. Don't wear it for work in case it comes off and I don't notice. But that's what that is, a solid gold talk bracelet. Present, gift. Right, on with the shave. Um, what are we using? First of all, we're going to use the Fine Marvel razor, three piece, non adjustable. And I find, I don't know how you are, when you look at a razor head, you can say, yeah, that's, you know, D89, or that's a Merca head, or that's a, um, a Gillette. Uh, but this one, when you look at it, you're not too sure. And you think, damn it, I'll have to buy it to try it. <laughs> but uh, I was gifted this a while back. But this is a fine marvel, three-piece. I'm going to use that. God, it's warm today. Humid. It's not sunny. Or, well, it is sunny, but it's, it's hot. And we're going to use a brand new Gillette. You see that? 365 blade which is here there we go, it's unbranded one side see the glue knots there and it's branded there, it's a stainless blade so we'll open up and then I'll show you the soap we're going to use um, something I've wanted to try for a long time and I know that uh, um, you know lots of us shave with a Tale of Old Bond Street shaving creams, very good quality. Um, but I don't have, I have one soap and a, a stick soap. I think it's the sandalwood. So there is overhang to be aware of there. But that's what that looks like. There's the blade, if you can see. Can you see that? Oh, there, that's it. That's that. It's the um, Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Herbal Shaving Soap in a wooden bowl, rose bowl. Rosewood, I think it is. Oh, I know, don't quote me on that. So, this is the. I've bloomed it. So, there it is in there. There's a lid. It's nice. And you can buy the refills after. So, uh, that's what I've done. So, what I'm going to do is wet the face now. I'll use that bloom water as a pre-shave and then we'll uh, we shall get on with it. How are you doing in yourselves? Alright. I hope you're in good health and having a good week and your families. And um, thankfully I managed uh, to answer most Oh, ooh, that's nice, that's a nice, uh, that's nice. The comments in the last videos, I love doing that when I have the time and 
it just worked out lovely for me. Um, so it comes out, as you, well, I can't show you, but it's like a milky water. It's, it's a gorgeous scent. It's like, um, it's sandalwood, definitely sandalwood. But there is a sort of a herbal, herby edge to it. Nothing doesn't spoil it. Because I didn't, when I seen it, I thought, oh, I don't want nothing too herbal. But um, it's not, it's, it's just, it gives it an edge, which is nice, which is a nice scent. And that is lovely, very slick. So I'll do that. Okay, control that. And get on with it. Oh, sunflowers. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. See, that was a film, wasn't it? If there's no sunshine where you are, them are for you. <laughs> That's corny, isn't it? Brush. This is one of my, I love this brush. Omega. This is the 2030B. Now, the 2030 is the best badger version, but the 2030B is this, is the boar. Or not? That's been soaking. I think it's a. I think it's got to be a twenty-two millimeter somewhere around there. Not, um, but it's a firm. You know, good, good for hard soaps. So here we are. We've drained this now. Well, nearly. This will be taken out at the end of the shave. The soap will be rinsed. The bowl will be cleaned, and dried, and it'll be left for twenty-four hours bowl and soap and then the soap will be put back in, lid on, ready for next time. So it's a damp brush. It's damp but not dripping, I'm going to waste that. That's lovely stuff. There we go. I'm moving it about you see so it's... <laughs> Wait a minute. Right. You see that? Yeah. Dropping it everywhere. Good stuff. Now we'll lather on the face. Absolutely stunning scent. Really nice. Better than I thought it was going to be. Um, as I say, I wasn't sure with this herbal bit in it. But it's strong sandalwood. More than a... Mm, beautiful. Wow. Bit more water on that. Oh, I love this little brush. I don't know what it is. But I love the... Sort of a vintagey feel to it. Well, I have to say, I'm very impressed with this soap. Taylor Old Bond Street, hard soaps. Oh, it's filling the bath. That's love. My dad would have loved this. Anything woody like this. It's a very sort of clean, woody scent. So we'll heat up the fine marble, and hopefully we'll have a fine marble, marvelous shave. <laughs> you having a shave today? Here we go. First pass. Gillette 365 blade, brand new. Very slick. It's like mowing the lawn this, you gotta have in stripes. Are you like that? You gotta do stripes. <laughs> I am if I do if I do the lawn it's gotta be up and down and up. It's gotta be funny. O C D I think they call it. I'm not going to comment on that. I've learned. I could give a, an opinion now on the blade, but I've learned over shaving over the years that I get a truer feel for a blade on the second pass because the first one is sort of not hampered but it's this beard there 
and it's busy there cutting away so when there's nothing now uh, the majority's gone very slick by the way um, I can feel the blade then for what it is well that's my take on it I love it when a product because it, it wasn't this was what did it cost me I think it was 22 pounds with the bowl but the refill is about 10 9 or 10 pounds so that's that's good but the trouble is it's years before I'll need the refill probably because I'm using so many soaps back number two and for a ball brush it's not been stingy it's it's been pre-soaked but as you can see it's uh, also dishing it out lovely like a close its ears like a synthetic otherwise <laughs> Beautiful scent. Do you know what that was? I dropped the razor in the sink. Here we go, across the growth. Now let's at the blade. A very, very smooth blade. Um, not aggressive, very efficient. I'd say just under for me a Persona Red in aggression, just under. Um, very smooth. And the razor is a mm, just, I wouldn't say. Mm, High end mild into mid aggression. But uh, your mileage may vary obviously with your skin type, beard type, blade, what choice. Um, if somebody did ask you about that, does the, does the blade make the difference to the aggression? Indeed, yes, it makes a it depends what blade you use, uh, it makes a huge difference in some razors, um, very little difference in other razors. That is lovely. Yeah, we've got a touch of water. Why not? They haven't rinsed it. Come on. Jump in the gun, do you? Look like Adam and the Ants. Remember him? No. <laughs> Adam and the Ants. <laughs> do you know, it's something I just realised... Um, Years and years ago, when uh, Elvis Presley, um, the Presley estate, Graceland, I suppose, did a tour I think, all over the world, and they came. The nearest for me was Manchester, and the was it the Evening News Arena or the, something like that. Huge place, and all his backing singers were there. His live, his drummer, his guitarist, they're all getting on now. Oh, they were then. And uh, Sweet Inspirations were there. And uh, Elvis came on as a holograph, very cleverly done. It was fantastic. And uh, it was a really nice concert. And I enjoyed it. Against the growth now. So why are you going across? I don't know. Talking. Right. Get on with it. So what I was going to say is this. At the end of the show... The Sweet Inspirations, three things, they came to the front and shaking hands with people. So I darted to the front and shook each hand. And I didn't realise the lady, one of them, is Sissy Houston, Whitney Houston's mother. So I not only sang, uh, shook the hand of one of Elvis's backing singers, 
but also Whitney Houston's mother. I didn't know at the time. Oh, God. Uh, Never forget a lovely lady or ladies. She said, uh, Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny, I was talking to one of the uh, the ushers, what do you call them? Like, you know, in the, in the walk up and down the aisles, make sure everything's all right. Talking to one of them and he said, um, it's funny, he said, this guy's been dead, was it 30 years? And he said, this place is packed out. He said, we had a group last week, E17. He said it was half full, if that. I talk some <laughs> I'm only talking like uh, as if you were here with me so I'll give you a clue not to come round Are you up to much anything? Are you up to much anything? Are you up to much t Are you up to much Are you up to anything much? That's better today Other than, other than working. Right. This is this is really good. Sandalwood, beautiful scent. As I say, it's a slightly different to the stick because uh, this is a herbal sandalwood, and whatever that herbal is. I was worried about because I didn't want it to be herby and because I like sandalwood as it is and woody scents but it's a gorgeous addition whatever it is and it's lovely very slick right you know what time it is now three two one pick up time baby and people there saying it and families are looking at you thinking he's gone off his head this fella he's been watching that idiot on YouTube too long <laughs> On them huge television. <sighs> Don't bother. Don't bother telling me. Right. Pick up time, baby. Oh, that is a nice scent. Best. Wasn't sure in the beginning. Was it worth the. Uh, well, it was for the bowl with it, but um, it's certainly worth uh, to buy the soap on its own. is about ten pounds, I think, somewhere on there. Uh, that's a bargain for this. I would happily pay that again. Very efficient razor. This heavy on the short side. Good grip, good knurling on it. Um, Lovely blade, very efficient, smooth. Just under the persona for me. Sort of red in aggression. Um, I gotta get them bits. That's good enough. Cold water rinse. Oh. Oh, you sunny. <laughs> How are you, sunny? Oh, you sunny? I forget it. Oh, Do you want a joke? Except for me. I don't know if I've told you, if I've said this, you may have heard on my other channel, if I've said it on there, but uh, 
I may have even said earlier, and I apologise in advance if I have, but here we go. Last week, I swallowed accidentally a bottle of invisible ink. And I phoned the doctor and he said he couldn't see me. Right. Eucalyptus homemade witch hazel. <laughs> Come back next week, the jokes is just as bad. Use it up a bit. Oh, lovely. Eucalyptus doesn't go with sandalwood, but it's nice. Just a nice strength in that, too. Right. That's that. And then, of course, I've got to use Taylor of Old Bond Street sandalwood um, aftershave lotion. Beautiful stuff. You put it on like you're putting vinegar on your chips. Oh, this is it, eh? Hey. Oh, oh, hey, 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 big boy, hey. He'd love it, he would. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> right, he'd love it. Upstairs, eh? Right. Gorgeous, that scent. Go on, have a nice, isn't it? And then to put the protection back. We're going to use the L'Oreal Men Expert Hydra Energetic Moisturising Gel for skin and for stubble. So if you wear a stubble, a thin stubble, you can put this in every day or whatever and it uh, keeps your skin moisturised. Two squirts, it's quite clear. Good stuff this. I wasn't, as I've said before, when I started with gels you know when they started coming out they were gunky and horrible things use a razor and it'd block it after the first use it was terrible sticky stuff but gels now have come on um, so the word gel is fear through my blood when i shaving related but things like this worked it works non-greasy it's not overpowering as in you know not too slick but leaves a nice film on the skin. If you've stayed with me to the end, thank you so much. Uh, just a quick reminder, so we've used the fine accoutrements, the Marvel uh, double-edged razor, three-piece, non-adjustable, heavy, shortish, really nice, well-balanced, um, high-end, mild to mid-aggression for me with that blade. The Gillette 365 was fantastic. Um, very smooth and very efficient, just under the Persona Red for me in aggression, just under, but very smooth. The brush, that I love this, it's a Omega um, 2030B uh, bow brush, uh, really nice. And it's not scared of sharing the lather with you. Tale of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Herbal Shaving Soap in this wooden but beautiful bowl. Um, worth every penny. I wasn't, as I say, I wasn't sure about the hard soap with this. Don't know why with the herbal name, um, but absolutely stunning. It works. It's slick, easy to lather, and that's with a bore brush, and it's really nice. Welsh water to rinse. Homemade witch hazel, which got eucalyptus essential oil in it. Um, really nice. Uh, Tale of Old Bond Street sandalwood aftershave lotion. Gorgeous. It's a lovely scent in here, you know. Very woody scent. And then the L'Oreal Men Hydra Energetic um, Moisturising Gel Skin and Stubble. Good stuff. That was a gift of Mrs. Hater. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the week. Good shaves. Look after yourselves. Take care. And uh, thanks for your company and for the chat. And I'll see you on um, Sunday for the weekend shave. Can't wait. See you then. All the best. Bye-bye.